There's only one feeling better than putting on a fresh pair of shoes. And it's knowing that your bot just sniped an auction at the very last second to win. This week's challenge is a fun one. We're calling this one the Auction Sniper Challenge, and it's the same thing we just described, right? How do I make sure that I win an auction at the very last second to make sure that I win? So let's jump into the challenge page and see how this works and talk about some tips. So, like I mentioned, the way that you complete this challenge is by winning the auction. So this is kind of the opposite of some of the other challenge pages that we've done before. Usually those are like, you wanna load the page and go as fast as you can and then record the time. This one is the opposite. You wanna load the page and then go as slow as possible so that you can bid at the very last second. So it's like a go slow to go fast kind of thing. But at the very last second, I want to try to bid so that I can win the auction. Now, a couple tips for you. Number one, every single time the page loads, it's going to randomize the time left on that top auction. So you might load it one time, it says there's 45 seconds left. You might load it another time, there's 15 seconds left. So it's important that your bot is able to be dynamic and the way that it handles the remaining time. You can't just say wait 30 seconds and then hit quick bid and try to win because you may have lost the auction at that point. The other tip, there is another phantom bidder that will be bidding against you in this auction, right? So with some minimal time left, there's another phantom bidder that's going to try to bid against you. You have to bid after that individual has bid. So keep that in mind. You can't just bid at like 20 seconds left and then let the thing run out because you will get outbid no matter what. So be careful to make sure that you're bidding at the very last second. The closer to zero time left on the clock, the better deal you're gonna get and the greater chance you have of winning the auction. Sound good? So let's take a look at this challenge page. I'm gonna show you exactly how it works and then we'll jump into uh, one last thing, which is registration. Okay, so I've got the challenge page up. You can see that when it loaded here, there was I think 20 seconds left when the page loaded and now it's doing that countdown. I wanna try to place a bid, right? I could do it right now with as little time left as possible. So I bid, it says Automation Anywhere Bot is the top bidder. I just got outbid, right? So keep that in mind. You're going to be outbid if you bid too early. So make sure that you're paying attention to how much time is left on the clock. Make sure that you're bidding at the very last second so that you have the best chance of winning the auction. This will also reflect in the lowest time left on the bid time, as well as the lowest price. So keep those things in mind. The objective here is you wanna have the least amount of time left on the auction and preferably the lowest price that the auction offers because that means you got a great deal. So this is a really fun challenge, especially because I know that there's some sneaker heads in our RPA community. So those individuals will for sure enjoy this and uh, it was a fun one to build as well. Now, one last thing, there is an important component of our bot games and that is swag. So in order to win swag, Couple different things you have to do. Number one, make sure that you register for Bot Game Season 2. We've got a link below for that so that you can register. This gets you signed up. You'll get alerts on every time we release a new challenge, every time we have a live stream going on and new content. It's only going to last for the period of this uh, Bot Game Season 2 though. Uh, we're not gonna keep spamming you with stuff. It's just for this event. You also need to complete the challenge itself, right? If you completed the challenge successfully, you would see a modal looking something like this, right? Modal is the same as like a web term for pop-up. Um, but you would see the bid time left and the auction price. You'll wanna share that image on social media so that we can all celebrate your victory. You'll also wanna tag three other RPA developers and challenging them to complete this same challenge. If you complete all of those steps, you could be eligible to win some Automation Anywhere bot game season two swag. And this is what it looks like right here. This is gonna be a shirt. We've also got some stickers coming your way. The shirt is legitimately really nice design. I really like this one, so I'll be excited to get this myself. Um, but tag three developers, complete the challenge yourself, share it on social media, and that's what's gonna make you eligible for swag. Now, just like we saw with bot games in August, the best way to engage with other developers and to learn the best tips for completing these challenges is to see how other people are doing it. Share some of your tips. Share what you're doing to get the best time. Share what you're doing to you know, bid at the very last second for this one. Share all of that on social media 
and we'll be excited to engage with you. Now, later this week, we'll be coming back with a tutorial that will show you exactly how we would suggest to solve this challenge. It's not the only way, it's not necessarily the best way. It's just one of the ways you can solve this challenge, okay? So good luck on this challenge. We'll be back on Thursday with that solution tutorial that I was mentioning. And until then, enjoy bot games and go be great.